guys, so I'll be showing you how to prepare your SD card for loading. So I'll be showing you how to put games on it and the proper folder structure and stuff. So the first thing you're going to need to do is insert your Wii U's SD card into your PC. So I'm doing that right now. And we'll wait for it. So we're going to close out of this. And on the root of it, you would usually have a Wii U folder, assuming that you have the kernel exploit set up and stuff, and you would have the loading files. But if you don't, I've got a tutorial for that. So you're going to create a new folder and call it Wii U, unless you already have one on there, like I do. And then inside that, you're going to create a new folder and call it Games, G-A-M-E-S. And then inside that, you're going to create a new folder for the game that you want. So I'm going to be doing Super Mario Maker, so I'm just going to call it Super Mario Maker. And then you're going to put a bracket, and then the game's title ID. So you can get the title ID 6, that's the proper name of it. You can get the title ID 6 from a website called GameTDB.com. I'll have the link in the description. Just search for the game and it'll say the title ID. So in my case it's AMAE01. And then you're going to put another bracket to end it off. So this title ID is actually not completely necessary. It's only necessary for downloading the cover images. But if you don't care about covers, then you can just put XXXXXX, six of them, so that it'll just, you won't have to go through the trouble of finding this. But yeah, so next you're going to find the game data files for the game. So I'm using Super Mario Maker, as I said before. And here is what the here's what the game data looks like. You're gonna you're gonna ignore all of these files below it, and you're gonna only worry about this code, content, and meta folder. You're gonna copy all three of these, and you're gonna paste them inside the Wii U, then inside games, and then inside Super Mario Maker, or whatever the name of your game is, and then paste it in here. So this might take a little while to copy, because it's not too small, it's 853 megabytes. So I'll just pause the video and get back to you when it's done. Okay, so it just got done copying my files. So now we're pretty much done setting up our SD card. So I'm assuming you have the kernel exploit set up, so you've got the you've got Lodeen inside of your apps folder. If you don't have that set up, then you can click on screen right here, and I'll have a link to the video in which I teach you about this, teaching you how to set up the kernel exploit and stuff, and how to prepare your SD card for all of this. So yeah, next I'll meet you on my Wii U, so I'm going to eject my SD card and put it inside my Wii U. Hey guys, so I'm back on my Wii U, and I booted into the kernel exploit, so now I'm on the homebrew launcher menu. So I'm going to load Lodeen by clicking on it and then hitting load. So we'll just wait for this to get done loading. And then you'll notice it'll have the game right here. So we can click on it. Or press A, I'm not sure. And then you can select an update folder or an extra save. So launch mode, you can change these different modes and stuff. And shared and unique and stuff. So we can just click OK, and then it'll load the it'll load all the files, and you should be able to play the game normally now. So I'll just show you a, a minute or two of playing it to show it actually works. So yeah, this is just showing that the game and shit works, so yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, like, subscribe, comment for videos, tutorials and stuff, and I'll see you next time.